us guys. So we were lucky enough to receive a delivery from Techno South Africa and they've sent us their Spark 10 5G. So this is a budget level smartphone with 64 gigs of storage, 4 gigs of memory and it has 5G and a 50 megapixel camera. All of this retailing for just 4,000 South African Rand. So right out the box, the first thing we get is the Techno 10 5G. It's a decent weight of a phone. It's not too light, not too heavy. Uh, I mean, for a budget level smartphone, you would expect it to be a little lighter. It does have a massive, massive camera notch. I guess letting you know that it has a 50 megapixel AI camera. So that's the first thing that stands out. But other than that, I think it's fairly a regular smartphone if I take it out of the packaging. The back finish is actually quite lovely. It's that little boxy finish. And I think you get that same finish on the top of the box as well. But I mean, um, back to what I was saying, I think it's feeling a little light, but that just might be me. I, I, I don't know how. It is a little, a little light, but I mean, who cares about weight? Lighter is better nowadays. I like the curves of this phone. It's quite rounded. Anyway, instead of staring at the phone, let's go ahead, take off the top cover. And by taking off the cover, we are met with a screen protector, which is already installed on the phone. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna power the phone on and I'm gonna just set this aside while we go through the rest of the box, right? While this is starting up. So underneath the, first, the top cover, then the next thing we're met with is a clear case. This phone, being a 4,000 rands phone, I mean, for anyone that's buying it, it saves them a lot of hassle coming with the screen protector as well as a phone case. And with it being clear, I mean, it has to showcase that back finish of the phone. I appreciate that. Anyway, then after the cover, we are met with the Techno charging block. And this is a 5 volt, 2.4 amp, 18 watt charger. So, I mean, this is an okay charger. I mean, to be included with the phone, we shouldn't say no to that. Then we have a box. So within the box, we have our SIM ejector tool and we also have USB type C cable. Ah, this is interesting. They have placed orange in the center of the USB cable. They're not following your regular standards. That's quite cool. And it also includes a set of headphones. So now, Let's return back to the smartphone. Now it's asking me for some to log into the Wi-Fi and that sort of thing. Okay, so it's giving you some operating instructions. Press and hold to restart the phone. Battery is not removable. Accept the privacy policy in terms of use. Now we're starting. So as I mentioned with this phone, it has a 50 megapixel rear camera. It has a 6.6 .6 inch HD plus 90 Hertz display so 6.6 .6 inches um quite cool it has a top notch for the front camera um 64 gigs of storage 8 gigs of memory and this phone comes built in with a 5000 milliamp hour battery so you know 5000 milliamp hours is gonna last us at least two days um at the bottom it has usb type c it has a micro headphone jack so we appreciate that um from what it looks it looks like it has a side fingerprint scanner from the styling of the case and then the sim tray was on the top left I'm just waiting for this phone start up then we can get a feel of how it performs rather than just the extremities of the phone but I think the biggest thing that stands out with this phone is the massive massive camera notch the box that the phone was shipped in as well um, when I initially had looked at the box right um, you can see that it is high quality printing. I can tell, tell you that much, right? It's a very lovely gloss finish. But the actual cardboard that was used was, I'd say on maybe more eco-friendly or more cost effective because you can see the, the cardboard striation lines in the box. Okay, so this is running high OS. 
12.6 based on Android 13. And you can tell I haven't done any Googling about the phone or any research. First impressions of unboxing it and finding out about the tech specs and all of those things. One thing I'm picking up, I don't know, maybe it's just because the screen protector is new, but the screen protector has a little of a funny feel. So it, it's not giving you a smooth glide. Like if you're trying to, you're, it, it might just be my finger also, but it's like when I'm swiping and even when I was trying to put in the, the, the pin, it was like, it's provide, it's like hindering me from sliding my finger to, to swipe. Okay, so this thing is updating and everything. But I mean, from our first impressions, the phone doesn't seem slow, doesn't seem anything. Can you keep quiet? I'm trying to talk to the people there. It is obviously first time setting this phone up, so it's going to take a while. But yeah, guys, I mean, that was my first impressions of the TechnoSpark 5G. I'm very interested by this phone because I mean, brands or the mid-market space right now is fairly empty because there's no phones that are decent as well as cost effective in that 4,000 to say 3,000, 5,000 range, between three and 5,000 range. So it's quite interesting to see how this phone is gonna perform. And I think I'm gonna put this through the paces of being my daily driver and see how this phone actually performs. But until then guys, you can stay tuned for the full review, which will be coming in a month or two. But until then guys, thank you very much for watching. A big shout out to Techno South Africa for sending out this phone for me to review and let you know my honest opinions about. And we look forward to actually testing it out. But until then guys, thanks for watching. My name is Prashant and I'll catch you in the next video.